Bloodborne pathogens are microorganisms that can cause disease when transmitted from an infected individual to another individual through blood and certain body fluids. Bloodborne pathogens are capable of causing serious illness and death. The most common illnesses caused by bloodborne pathogens are hepatitis B, HBV, hepatitis C, or HCV, and acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, or AIDS, from human immunodeficiency virus, or HIV. Anyone could potentially be exposed to bloodborne pathogens in the workplace if they come in contact with bodily fluids of an infected person. This is most likely a risk for healthcare workers and public safety jobs such as doctors, dentists, nurses, paramedics, police, laboratory workers, housekeeping workers in the healthcare industry, as well as dental technicians and other first aid personnel. And Janitors, maids, maintenance personnel, plumbers, helpers, apprentices, and employees who come in contact with blood or other body fluids. Exposure to bloodborne pathogens may occur in many ways. Those who are in positions that may be exposed on a regular basis should be extra aware of potential exposure risks. The most common ways to be exposed are Openings or breaks in the skin provide a place for infected blood or fluids to enter your body. Scrapes, cuts, rashes, burns, and other minor injuries that create an opening in the skin are entryways for bloodborne pathogens. And your eyes, nose, and mouth are mucous membranes and are also openings for diseases to enter. Accidents can happen in any industry, and there is no way to know if bodily fluids are infected or not. The following are recommendations that can help prevent exposure. Use universal precautions, a concept that says that all human blood and certain human fluids are treated as if known to be infectious for HIV, hepatitis B, and other bloodborne pathogens. Whenever you do a job or task that may expose you to bloodborne pathogens, you must wear protective equipment. A full face shield to protect your mouth, eyes, and nose. Protective gloves for your hands. If you have cuts or any broken skin, use appropriate cover or protection. If you have a barrier cream, it's important to protect your hands under the protective gloves. Avoid all actions and tools that may cause a personal injury. Avoid sharp or jagged objects. Wash your hands and face after completing the assigned task with soap. Hands should be washed after gloves are removed. If any exposure is suspected, you are to wash your hands and any other skin area with soap and water or flush mucous membranes with water immediately. And eating, drinking, smoking, applying cosmetics or lip balm, and handling contact lenses are prohibited in work areas where there is a reasonable likelihood of occupational exposure. If you've come in contact with blood or other potentially infectious bodily fluids, you have been involved in an exposure incident. The following should be done. Stay calm. Get first aid if it is required. Wash the exposed area thoroughly, including your face and hands if possible. Tell your employer or supervisor right away. Inform he or she of how, when, and where the exposure occurred, and whose blood you came in contact with. Get medical attention. And complete an accident report with detailed information. Although exposure to bloodborne pathogens is minimal in some work environments, it's necessary to take precautions to avoid exposure. Following the proper procedures can limit risks of exposure and prevent serious infection from taking place. If you have any questions about the risks of bloodborne pathogens at your workplace or the procedures in place to prevent exposure, please speak with your supervisor. I'm Olivia, your safety trainer, reminding you to be careful and stay safe out there. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please visit our YouTube channel for more safety training. 
Also, follow us on social media for OSHA updates, free safety webinars, reminders on safety tips, techniques, and more. What are you waiting for? Like, follow, or subscribe today. And stay safe out there. Thank you.